Hi Eagles, Mrs. Gillette here today with a GeoGo draw for letter Y. Y says Y like the Y in yellow or yarn or you. Today we're going to be drawing a yak. A yak is a kind of cow and we're going to put our yak in the yard for Y. Letter Y. To make our letter Y, capital Y looks just like this. We make a slant line down and a slant line down. So for this activity today, you're going to need your GeoGo draw book or a piece of paper, your pencil, and your crayons. So if you have all of those, you can open up to your letter Y page in your GeoGo draw book or grab your piece of paper. Make your capital letter Y. Little slant and a big slant. And then we'll get started with our small letter Y. Small letter Y is just like a letter U. If you've made a letter U, which we've made lots of times, we're going to go down, curve up, down, and curve under with a letter Y tail. There you have capital letter Y for Y and small letter Y. We're going to make a box around letter Y. And if you know today's date, you can put it right at the top. All right, friends, we're going to start our yak. A yak is a kind of cow that lives in Nepal that's over by uh, between China and India. And these cows are really, really big and they're really, really fluffy. They're very hairy because they live in a climate that needs a lot of fur to keep them warm. So today we're going to start right in the middle with his nose. So right in the middle of your paper, we're going to draw an oval. We're going to go right about there. Okay, Joe, go draw that oval. And then we're going to make another oval around it. I'm going to start at the top of this oval. I'm going to draw a bigger oval right there. See that? Okay, two ovals. And now we're going to make a smile because this is going to be the part of his mouth. Whoop. You just drew a yak nose and you drew a yak mouth. Okay, and now we need some eyes. So right on top of his nose, we're going to make a dot and a dot. Two yak eyes. Got those? Perfect. Okay, now off to the side, we're going to make some curvy triangles for his horns. Now this is kind of like a triangle, kind of like an S. Watch Mrs. Gillette. Here's his eye. I'm going to come up to the side and I'm going to draw up and curve out. See how it's kind of that curvy S line? Then I'm going to draw along it back down. Nice and curvy so that he has one horn going out this way. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I start by his eye right above it and I make a curvy line go out and then a curvy line come back in. Now it's looking a little crazy because you're like, uh, Mrs. Gillette, his horns are floating in space. Yeah, so now we're gonna add his head. We need some fluffy lines. If you've ever drew, drawn clouds or the number three, like a tree, we're gonna draw some fluff. So right between his horns, we're gonna draw some fluff here. He's starting to look cute. Now under his horn, we're gonna go around in a curvy, fluffy circle. See how I'm making all those number three curvies right around there? Okay, now there's his fluffy head. Did you get all those curvy parts? Remember, if you need time or you need to erase, you can always pause the video and come on back. Now we're gonna draw his whole body. Remember, they're kind of big. So this time I'm gonna start up at the top here and I'm gonna make more curvy lines. Make sure you go all the way around his horns and then you're just gonna come all the way around his body and back up to where you started from. <laughs> See, because he's poof, very fluffy, isn't he? Very good. Now our yak needs a tail. So right at the very tip top, we're gonna drop his fluffy tail. Okay, so we have a fluffy head circle, a fluffy body circle, and a fluffy tail circle. If you need some time to work on those, you can always hit pause, but a yak, is a kind of cow with four feet. So I'm going to use rectangles as his little feet. I'm going to put two down here in front. One, two, and I'm going to give him some hooves that are a little bit round, just like that. There's his two. Then he has little back feet and I'm going to make him stick out the side a little bit. So I draw a rectangle here with a hoof and I draw a rectangle there 
with a curvy hoof, just like that. Oh, he's kind of cute, isn't he? Now this yak is in the yard. So we need to draw the yard. So I'm gonna make sure that he's not floating in space. I'm gonna draw a horizon line right here for where the grass meets the sky. But today, the grass is gonna have a fence. So I drew my horizon line. Then I'm gonna come up to about where his horns are. And I'm going to come to the side of my paper and I'm gonna draw a zigzag line, watch me. I go up and down and up and down, up and down, up and down, and see how it meets the yak. So then I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna come out the other side about the same spot, up and down, up and down, all the way across, just like that. Now you're wondering, Mrs. Gillette, why did we draw zigzags? Because that's gonna be our fence in our yard. Every time there's a down letter V, if you look here, there's a letter V hiding. We're gonna draw a line that comes down to our horizon line. Then I find my next pointy part down for the letter V. I come down and I keep drawing those lines. And if you look, it's starting to turn into a fence. And that's what I wanted. Now, if you look here, there would be kind of a line that came there. So I'm gonna add that line behind the yak. Then I'm gonna draw straight down all the way across. So you can go ahead and do this with me. Oh, I love it. There's our yak in the yard. Now you have to decide if you're gonna have grass here or mud here. I think I'm gonna have grass, so I'm gonna draw the little grass pieces. Maybe he's munching on some grass too. And let's see, maybe I could put some grass sticking out of his mouth. There we go, because he was kind of hungry. The yak in the yard. There's some things right here. All right, now don't forget you can add clouds or sunshine to the sky, and then you're gonna shade in your yak. A yak could be brown or yellow or white. Um, if you really wanted to, you could make it purple or pink, but usually yaks aren't purple or pink unless they got into something they shouldn't have. Don't forget to shade in your sky, color your fence. I can't wait to see what yours look like. Bye friends, have a great time.